Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So you're on episode 98 now, we're getting close to the big 100 where hopefully there's something special planned so um, yeah, stay tuned for that. But yeah, today we... Um like I said, we've got one system, but before we start, I just want to say um, obviously a massive thank you as always to everyone who continually comes back to the videos and supports the channel by watching them. Just a massive thanks to you, and also a massive thank you to everyone who's recently subscribed. Just a huge thanks to you, it's absolutely amazing, and yeah, getting close to the big 10,000 now, that is, that's insane. I never thought I'd get that far, but anyways, right, yeah, like I said, we've got um, one system to do, but... Um, yeah, just um, one thing as well. People are still asking them um, how to send in their systems. So um, all you need to do is go to the description of this video or any of the videos. And then there'll be a link to my Discord server. All you need to do is go and join that. Create an account if you need to. Join my server. And all you need to do is go to the upload channel in the server. It's all marked out um, nicely so you can find it. And all you need to do is go into the um, your simulations folder, which should be in your Universe Sandbox, the big Universe Sandbox folder, which is normally located in your documents, I believe. And you just need to drag whichever simulations you want into the Discord server and then it'll upload the file. So, um, yeah, nice and, nice and easy um, to do. Just simple um, drag and drop, pretty much. But anyways, yeah, enough of that. Let's get into today's one. So, yeah, we've got one system from Mad Planet Guy to do. So it's called um, the Planet Leo system. Here we go. So let's see what he has um, cooked up for this. Cooked up for this um, this time. Right, go. Wait for it to load. All right. Whoa, this is something pretty um, cool. He looks like he's uh, got all cooked up here. So, damn, this is uh, this is some pretty crazy stuff. Here. Look at the size of that pulsar over there. All right. Planet Leo's home system. Okay, so here is the star, right? So here is Les. Right, so this is, um, can't. Okay, I thought, I thought it was broke for a second. It just closed. Right, so here are its stats. Yeah, pretty, pretty bright, as we can see. Um, 1200 suns there in luminosity. Righty O. Okay, next up we got a, um, a golden police box by the looks of it. An orange gold sort of color. Let's go zoom into this and have a look. Oh, look at this thing. What is this? It actually does look quite cool, like the golden golden police box there. Golden TARDIS. <laughs> so yeah, there we go there. So that's the Doctor Who TARDIS in gold. Right, there we go. So Star Life for a longer. Right, next up we've got um, Kadala. Or Kadala here. So let's go on our flashlight. Or oh, should be realistic, sorry. So here it is here. And that is a quite a nice looking um, world underneath. Actually, let's get a... I think that's a custom, yeah, it's a custom sort of um, surface texture on it. That's um, one of the, his specialities, I think, with um, all these. I know he does a lot of them. So, um, yeah, there it is there. Looking very fine indeed. I do like the way that is looking. So, there we go there. Next up, we have got Banato here. Also with, like, a custom sort of uh, surface texture going on. So, yeah, just get a look of it up here as well. But it looks pretty, pretty cool the way it is. The black and the white blending together there. That's quite cool. So, there it is there. Are these customizable? I'm not sure, are they? Oh, they are! Wow, that is really cool. I've never really tried doing that. That's awesome. Wow. Right, there we go. Next up, we have got um, Seven here. And that is a beautiful blue. Wow. That. That's a shade I don't think I've seen before. Nice, like, not a Neptune blue, more of an ocean sort of blue is what I'm getting from that. And that is a, that's a lovely looking one. Look at that. That is a really nice blue. So um, yeah, there we go. There, that is what it looks like underneath. So it looks like a, it looks like it was a mercury texture at one point, but it's been um, recolored. So yeah, there it is there. But yeah, that is a beautiful looking object there. Really, really cool atmosphere. Love the trail color. So there we go. Right now, a massive jump out. We got um, tail can over here. So the first gas giant of um, the bunch today. So here it is. That is a nice, uh, different uh, amount of bands in there, all nicely color blended together as well. So yeah, there it is. Quite a nice, um, honestly, if you uh, made all of that the same colour, that probably would um, be quite a decent custom satin. Just a, just a first of all. I mean, maybe there's a little too, uh, or too little bands, but I mean, that could be quite a good template for a custom satin, you know. So, um, yeah, it does look quite good if you ask me. Right, next up we have got Taurus Ship. Okay, so this is a, um, a Juno. Is that the Juno or the Parker Pro? That's, yeah, that's the Parker Pro, isn't it? Um, yeah, but there it is there. So there's the Taurus Ship. Why am I saying Juno? The Juno is a very unique shape. Yeah, there it is. Right, next up we've got the main star of the show, Planet Leo here. So this is um, his um, his home world, I guess. This is the one um, he uses in his profile picture and all that. So here it is here and it's all its glory. Got a pretty cool nighttime zone on it as well. But yeah, the blue ocean world with a red hot atmosphere colour on it. The red orange. Well, it's more of an orange with red clouds. But yeah, there it is there. Looking very, very fine indeed. So let's, um, if we actually rotate it. 
we should see it. There is um, the, the areas which glow white are where the land are, I think, is it? Oh, no, it does it in the daytime as well. But, yeah, really, really cool the way that works. Yeah, I don't understand how it works. That is weird how it does that. But it's actually a purple surface, as we can see there, um, underneath all of that. But, yeah, when it goes to, like, the darker area, it goes to a white cratered color. That's so cool the way that works. But, yeah, there we go there. And then we've got the moons. We've got a climate stabilizer here. So that that's a Juno probe there. Um, Planet Leo Orbital Stabilizer. That is a tinted USA rocket. The Saturn V there. Uh, urgent Evacuation Craft. It's cool how you can change the colour of these and get a whole looking... That looks like a more rusty sort of looking ship right there. That's really cool. Um, then we got a moon over here. Karato here. So there we go. That's got some very uh, funky land on it. The way it's all formed in the north there. Pretty cool. Almost reminds me of like the speculated... The way the city of Atlantis looks. With like the circles around the centre area. Something like that. That's quite cool. So um, yeah, there we go. Moving out, nice uh, magenta trail around that planet as well. Then we got some, uh, we got a ship here, a mother ship, which is a purple teapot. Um, then we have another one here, and that is a all pink pyramid by the looks. Of, yeah, <laughs> look at that. So um, yeah, there we go. Next up, we got Keela over here, and that's a very nice looking gas giant. Look at that, nicely blended together. It's similar similarities to Jupiter. It looks like a completely different coloured Jupiter on it. It'd be quite cool with a red spot actually. So yeah, there we go. Then we got this um, all red looking world. I think we saw this in a volcanic system. It was, I did way, way back um, here. But yeah, that's quite similar to the one I think I remember seeing. So there it is there. Uh, let's see what it looks like underneath. So yeah, very, very dark underneath. Very, very... Uh, it almost reminds me of like Titan in a way, but more of a hot version. It's got 76 degrees there, so pretty warm. Quite close to the um, object there. Then we got an, um, an object called Ford, actually. There we go, look at that. So... Um, White atmosphere, also with some funky-looking surfaces on it with all the lines there. Pretty um, cool indeed. Right, there we go. Right, next up, moving out to um, Taurus Ship 3 there. So it's just another probe. Then we have a pumpkin. So that's just chilling in the system there. <laughs> um, system Weapon Force Field. And he's used the... Um, is that the seven-sided dice? How many sides? That's the ten-sided dice, isn't it? Just first guess. Wh which dice is it? I need to know <laughs> which one it is. Yeah, where is it? The where is it? Yeah, I think it's the ten sided. I think it's that one. I'm not sure. I think maybe is there ten? I want to say there's ten on there. Maybe a little more, twelve, something around that. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, then we got the um, this. Wow, that is actually really cool. Look at that. Okay, so that was a pumpkin. But he's put a mercury texture on it. Wow, that's so cool. That's like a legit asteroid. This is what this is what asteroids should look like. So if I just go ahead and spawn in, well, in theory, you could make custom asteroids. But here's here's an asteroid. They need to look look at this. Like, wow, that is actually really cool. If it didn't have the pumpkin, the, the top of the pumpkin on there, that'd be such a cool ash. Like that'd be like a legit asteroid. Yeah, we need these to turn into these. That is that is one thing. I think is on one is like one of the top things on my list that should be added is better detailed asteroids just with craters and stuff. I mean that from certain angles, that you could say that's an asteroid. That is really cool. Yeah, you could identify it as the asteroid over a pumpkin. That's really cool. I really like that. So that could open a concept for more stuff in the future if we can get like or get um, planet textures on like weird objects like that. That's really cool. Then we got, oh, whoa, that's, that is insane. Let's get a zoom in on that. Look at all the bit. Wow. So this is a uh, New Horizons probe. But damn, what is going on here? Look, just look at this. Watch your eyes. But damn, that's make, that does make your eyes go funny. But can, can we zoom into that? Come, how close can we get to that? That is really cool. So here we go. But just look at this. What is going on here? Is this thing uh, uh, minus 270 degrees? That's so weird how he's done that. Wow, so I don't think I can zoom in much more, but that, that is indeed a strange being right there. That is, it almost looks sparkly. That is really, really cool. So, um, yeah, there it is there. Um, Taurus ship too, I think we did that one. Next up, we've got the Popo over here. So this is actually another star, okay. So that's got a few things around it. Taurus ship one, okay. So um, there we go. Oh, that's the cool blue giant, oh, gas giant there. Um, Pibu, or Pibib, I think that's how you say that one, and that is a... It's a pretty unique. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so cool. How that glows. 
It's almost like... Well, it reminds me of lava, but it's not really lava, is it? It's purple. What what sort of... I don't know. It reminds me of, like, um, something from the game Ark Survival Evolved. The liquid element was that sort of colour. That's really cool. I really like that glow. It almost, yeah. I mean, if you could get that orange, that colour orange, it would be, like, glowing lava at night. But that's really cool. Like, some unknown purple liquid of some kind or element or something that's that's really cool i like that so yeah it's white in the daytime but at night like, it's like it goes like ultraviolet colored that is so cool the way that works wow i really like that is it is it like war is it like ice on the surface or something oh it is wait it, so if i oh if i increase it it disappears so if i decrease it oh ho, ho. Now that really does make a change. That's weird the way that works, but so the less water, the less water you have, or the the, the more water you have, the, it all disappears. That's really weird. But that's really cool as well. That's so awesome. That is, I really like that. I like that feature. That you can make so many cool looking objects doing that. Um, next up, we got this um, gas shine over here, and this one actually is um, similar to sort of a Neptune like object, more of an ice giant um, right there getting sunlight from both stars it's got that annoying shadow glitch on it but yeah there it is let's make it light up a bit so there it is there so yeah similar similar to neptune with the color there it's got a few different bands in it so yeah there we go there right, zooming out okay so where are we heading next okay so there's one called neptunian guy what's he got over here oh hello so it's a black and blue gas giant out here so here it is here very very dark in color as we can see here yeah, very nice blending together there really really nice indeed i'm liking that it's looking good so there we go there just chilling out here all by itself so there we go there similar size to neptune as well there um right there we go right next up we've got dark matter collector and it is another teapot so um yeah there we go a lot of teapots in here and now that's that's funny look at that so that's the is that the soccer ball or football texture however you want to call it i'd personally call it football because i'm not american but so he's put that on oh no is that a pumpkin on the on the football so where where is the soccer ball in here where, 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 so that yeah i think he's put the pumpkin texture on on that yeah yeah he's, yeah that's the pumpkin texture that's pretty cool actually he's got a different colored one there that's i like that that's that's cool the way he's done that so dark matter locator right there we go oh hang on that's obviously oh that's obviously in the collector okay so zooming out where we head next okay so we've got that insane pulsar what what is this naskaski oh that name it's always generated that's a very common name you get um when you spawn in random objects so here it is here wait that's weird so if you zoom out the pulsar doesn't get any smaller or bigger wow that is weird so if you zoom all the way out it looks like it's massive but when you zoom into it it's tiny oh that's so weird it, and it's a black hole with the pulsar on it. Okay. Yes, yeah, so it's a black hole there. And then you can see it's got the um, pulsar and stuff on it. That's so strange. Please let me know how you did that. So you zoom out, but it doesn't get any smaller. That is that is a mystery. That is... How have you done that? Is it a glitch or is there some way you can do that? Like replicate that? That's really cool. But so strange at the same time. Okay. And then there's anything in the direction of those lines? No, it's just a weird system actually but yeah really really nicely um put together some very very interesting objects in there i have to say let's get a lineup of the um whole bunch here i mean radius there we go All right zooming in there is planet leo which is obviously the main star of the show really really cool but my f although it's um yeah i would uh, that is a rocky planet um my favorite is definitely this the what just the way that looked at night time with the glowing purple like rivers that is so cool so there it is. That literally just looks completely normal. But as soon as you uh, remove the water, that is when you get that insane looking purple. There it is. That I love that. What, that is so cool, the way it does that. I, I want more. Please, people, make more like this. Make more objects with this, like, coloured glow at night time. Like, someone, made, like, someone can make a really cool volcano planet if they get the colour right on that. But yeah, I really like the glowing purple. That looks really awesome. So yeah, that is my 100% my favourite rocky planet in here. And out of the gas giants, hmm, which one? Obviously, I, I really do like the Neptunian guy one, but I, can't be, I, I guess I could be a bit biased if I just say the one with my name on it's the best. But I have to say, I did like the way this one looked. 
I, 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 I like that. I think that looks quite realistic with the way like the bands on it are and all that. This one as well, also quite a cool one. But yeah, I think I think that one does take it for me as the best out of them all, excluding this one because that one is actually my favourite. But I guess you could say I'm a little rigged um, in saying that that's my best. But and then there we got all the probes here. Look at all this. And then we got the tiny little black hole at the end, smaller than the pumpkin there, which is only 18 centimeters. So, oh, that's the one I put in anyway. But yeah, we've got the small, tiny little rocket there. This insane pro, I mean, very, very shiny and sparkly. We've got the uh, tinted golden TARDIS police box, purple pyramid. I mean, it's some really weird stuff in it. But yeah, that, that is really cool. I really like that. We need more objects like this with like planet, like Mercury textures or like some of Saturn's moon's textures on. Like, try it. If we could only like remove the top of the pumpkin on it, that would be really, really awesome. But yeah, there we go. So yeah, that is everything. Yeah, this is 100% my favourite out of everything in here. This That is so cool, the way that is. So yeah, there we go, guys. So let me know what you think down below in the comments um, of this system, because this is actually a really, really cool one. And yeah, that is so cool. So yeah, really, really like high-level modern stuff in here. Very, um, very crazy... Uh, changes in the code i'm assuming you have to do to make these but yeah that is awesome please if you know how to make these i want to see more these are really really awesome so um yeah that is everything guys so like i said let me know what you think down below in the comments what do you think of all these objects and also like i said if you want to send in your own um own systems make sure to follow the instructions i said at the um start of the video guys but yeah that is it so let's see if we can go for 40 likes today for this really really cool system and yeah guys subscribe if you're new helps on the journey to 10,000 subscribers and yeah that is everything so make sure you all have a great day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye